I'd first like to say that we all agree that Guantanamo Bay should be closed. Well, most of us will agree that Guantanamo Bay should be closed. And what happened there were atrocities which should not be committed anywhere else. But with Chris, you know, coming from a poor upbringing, etc., and with Mr. Beg uh, launching his book, people are going to be asking questions. Are you profiting at all from this tour? You know, revenues from your book, the tour, etc. So the question is, are you profiting from your tour? And what, if so, are the are the funds going towards uh, further? I'm more than happy to answer. Uh, I, I work for free full time. Uh, I'm currently homeless. I play my banjo on the street for money. Uh, I do not, nor have I ever made any money for it. I purchased my book, I buy my book from my publishers at half price, okay. and I sell it for the recommended retail price, and I urge you to buy a copy. <laughs> With the profits from your book, are, you go are the profits going to fund more education, etc.? They're going to feed my family, my friend. <laughs> Can I first of all say thank you very much um, for coming to Cardiff tonight. I think you've provided a, real, a very real human story. You've also given us a horror story, something that's the stuff of um, nightmares. But thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us. <clears throat> I've got two questions. Um, <coughs> I think it was last year or possibly the year before, there was a public meeting in Cardiff where the former ambassador um, for Azerbaijan from Britain, uh, a guy called um, Craig Murray, Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan sorry, came to, um, came to speak in a public meeting and, and he said to us that there were torture camps in Uzbekistan where um, information was being gathered for the per through torture for the purposes of intelligence, which was then being used to justify um, the continued so-called war on terror. Would you say that the torture and the information that was gathered um, by yourselves and your other um, prisoners in Guantanamo was all feeding into the same um, process? And the second question that I've got to you is, um, if there's a lot of people in this room tonight, and it's, it's really inspiring to see so many people turn up for an event like this, but if there was one thing, of course we will all go away and talk and tell people what you've told us, but if there was one action that we could all take here tonight to further the, uh, the cause that, that you were working on, what would that be? Question, uh, somebody asked about Craig Murray, who's the ambassador, who was the former ambassador to the British ambassador to Uzbekistan. I've met him very many times, and a very brave man. One of the things that he said, of course, was that the Uzbek uh, government at the time was being under the auspices of the United States of America, being forced to um, hand over people or to uh, hand over people for interrogation or to torture people to hand over that interrogation. And one of the things he mentioned and showed and proved was that people were actually boiled alive, boiled in vats up to their chests. And he took this to the British government and spoke of it, and he was duly removed from office. Um, and in terms of advice, what advice would I give to anybody, and what one singular advice would I give to anybody uh, to help campaign for the things that we've spoken of? Um, I don't know if I have one singular answer. There's not one solution. There are many solutions. Everybody has uh, can contribute to that solution also. But the first one I think is, is the most important one is to gain knowledge. Because the biggest argument people have uh, around the world on this is ignorance. And they can say, well, I don't really want to know, I'm not concerned, I'd rather watch Neighbours or whatever, whatever I'm watching on the television. Um, <coughs> ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance simply breeds hatred. And I think people need to get aware of that. And once you're aware, there is a duty and an onus upon you to act on the knowledge that you've, uh, that you've gained.